Welcome back everyone. Today I have a updated Don Quixote Doflamingo deck profile for you guys. This deck is now super budget friendly because we're no longer playing the green and purple film package. Uh, although as a friendly reminder, if you do plan on playing red, purple, Uta in OP06, I'd recommend picking up the purple Uta blockers now before they go back up. This deck is also very anti-meta for OP05 and I'll get into the reason why. And then the style of this deck is still the same as it was in OP04 where you basically control the board and then flood the board and just get more attacks off than your opponent and then just stun them when your opponent tries to outpace you. So here we go. Um, of course, you guys know what the leader does. It's really for counter, you know, activate events on your opponent's turn. All right, so the reason that makes this deck completely different now in terms of how we control is with Birdcage. So I play three Birdcage. So this is a stage that is Doflamingo locked. All characters with a cost of five or less do not become active in your and your opponent's refresh phases. So the reason it's so anti-meta now is because we're in a meta where so many of the top decks rely so heavy on their five and belows. So take Purple Luffy, for example, Magellan, Polly, Queen, um, you know, page one, ulti, everything that purple have, kid, you know, the blocker kid, everything that purple has right now can be basically locked down with this. So once they use it to block, once they use it to attack, it's locked down and then it's going to get popped when you hit 10 and you get to dictate when you stay at 10 and we'll get to how, um, and then just blow it all up. Then there's also Sakazuki. They try to use their blockers, it's stunned. It's not being used anymore. If they attack you, I think per, uh, Sakazuki only has, what, Borsalino? Some people play Mihawk. So those are the only thing that would bypass this birdcage. So this is how we stun our opponent. So now it does stun you as well, but we have cars that unsuspend outside of the refresh phase, which is why, you know, we're not hurt as much by it. Um, next we have our searcher we have four baby five this is the jewelry bonnie of the deck pay one rest it and look at top five four a don quixote pirates we have another set of baby five just for the 2k counter you could also play viola but i think her effect would be more useful um, than the viola viola is while she is out on the board you can rest two and rest one of your opponents on on their attack. This I think is more useful, although I haven't actually really used it. The only thing I can see it being kind of useful for is if I drop it the turn before the turn I drop a 10 cost, um, this way I can end up with four active. But I've once you drop a 10 cost, I don't really see myself needing more than one event if I'm planning on stunning that much. All right, of course, we have four sugar. Sugar is more important than ever. Uh, say your opponent drops a four, whatever, you just basically stun it. It's stunned forever. And then because it's on play, she herself hasn't been rested yet. So birdcage doesn't affect her until your opponent plays a card, then you rest it and then stun something else. Although a lot of the times I don't actually play sugar early at all anymore. Um... I really do just play it for the turn I expect something big to come out so that they have to deal with this before they play their white beard, before they play their big mom, something. The reason for that is because the moment it comes out and they haven't dealt with this, I rest it. Well, I'm going to 10 drop them back with the 10 drop Do Flamingo and stun it. All right, next we have three blocker killers. You do still control the board by, you know, Hey, they want to hit you. Well, I want a cheap blocker to tank the hit. And then plus on block, draw one. A really cute thing you can do in this deck is since we are playing against decks right now that hit you with their leader for five a lot because they use up all their Don to establish the board. For example, Sakazuki. You can attach the Don and then on block, draw your card, uh, activate Spiderweb, restand this and basically it becomes a six and then you get to do this effect again for on block to draw one because it's not once per turn now don't expect that to get off too often i just found it funny um that i basically make them waste an attack while not losing anything so i basically gave up the spider web but i still got the draw uh here we have the card specifically built for um birdcage so end of turn 
basically set uh, pay one set this card as active oh can we zoom in once per turn, if this card would be KO'd, you may rest up to one of your characters with a cost of three or more other than Pika. So both of these effects are actually for Birdcage. The end of the turn, obviously, to restand it outside of the refresh phase. So you can keep on attacking your opponent and you don't get stunned. And then that second part, yes, the protection come up in other other reasons but it's really built because if you 10 drop you don't have that one to restand i mean unless you want to use the one that you get back from this no 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 so what you want to do is since the 10 drop can't attack anyway and it would be ko'd you can just rest the 10 drop and save this as well so if you end up at 10 dawn and your birdcage is about to go off all right next we have another card that can restand to bypass birdcage so diamante he is a five cost 6k blocker um dawn one end of turn if you have two or more active dawn set this character as active so attach one seven good number to swing and then uh restand at the end of your turn now that means you can use it as a blocker but the tricky thing is if you have birdcage out and then you block with this you will not restand in your refresh phase you'll have to attach one to the end of it uh, and then it will stand at the end of your turn again to be used as a blocker so really choose when to block and when to attack because you will also get a little have a little weird play because of uh, Birdcage. Next, we have two of the new Don Quixote do Flamingo. On your opponent's attack, pay one, rest up to one of your opponent's character with a cost of six or less. So I play this for when my opponent's trying to not attack me and they set up their board. Um, well, they still end up attacking with the leader. So if they're doing that, I'm going to drop this. And then, you know, when they attack with their leader, I will rest something. So that's why I play this. It's also a really good disruption. So the style of the deck is still the same where you're disrupting your opponent a lot and throwing them off their game. Next, we have three of the 10 costs. You guys know what this does. Um, three, just because it's now searchable now. Uh, so we're good with that. Four, Cauliflower. I love this card. Um, you guys know what it does. Die minus one, draw two, and trash one when attacking. It's amazing because... We can still bypass Birdcage using our Paradise Waterfall and Spiderweb, so I often use it on her after I drop it to build up more card advantage. Something you guys can try is the Purple Trafalgar Law 4-cost blocker, although since we're attacking a bunch of mini attacks, I find my opponent always drop their uh, shields so that they don't hit 7, but something you guys can consider. I play 4x Drake. 2k counter but another reason is simply because if i hit 10 and i don't want birdcage to deactivate yet i can dawn minus one so i end my turn with nine dawn force my opponent to drop a card and still you know keep birdcage active so that's another reason i play this you know last minute here we have eustace captain kid same reason as playing drake except you know no counter but pumping up your leader by one and if i don't want birdcage to shut off i play it um, i attack with it and setting this up before you play your 10 cost dofi is amazing because then you can keep birdcage active and still drop your 10 cost next we have three punk gibson 4k rest of four or less that's basically it so now we have the more important stuff to bypass Spiderweb for some of your characters that can't stand up, or not Sp uh, Spiderweb, Birdcage, that can't stand up. So we have four Spiderwebs, 4K counter, then set one of your characters as active. Disruption, when you, you know, use blockers like Diamante, um, or sometimes even Killer. But a lot of times I do use it to stand up like Cauliflower just to get that extra attack um, on my next turn because she won't be standing on her own during the refresh phase and then two paradise waterfall same reason as spider web and yeah so t but it's a smaller counter just a 2k counter and then set one of your characters as active i'll be posting deck profiles for this or not deck profile battle videos for this but i think you guys would really enjoy it if you guys tried it out and it's again really cheap to make like less than 30 bucks 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.